this new recording. All right. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to do something on Photoshop that should be fun. It is basically putting one head onto another head. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get the Mona Lisa and we're going to put Miss Piggy's head onto the Mona Lisa. Uh, so uh, what you need to do is open a picture of both of them. So I'm going to do that. File, open. Uh, I know they're on my desktops. I just saw them. Um, one's called the Mona Lisa. I'll open that up. The other one, file, open, uh, is... Yeah, Miss Piggy, where have I got that? Um, this isn't good. Where have I got Miss Piggy? No, Mona Piggy is no good because that's the one I've already changed. Okay, so I'm going to go out of this. I'm going to show you guys another way to open it up. I know it's on my desktop, so I'm going to go straight to this one. I'm going to go Control and then click, and it'll go Open With. I'll open it with Photoshop. So there we go. I got them both here. So I've got Miss Piggy and I've got the Mona Lisa. What I'm going to do is grab Miss Piggy and drag her out here so I can have both of the images open. What I need to do is grab Miss Piggy's head and put it onto the Mona Lisa. So please pay attention while I do that. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in on Miss Piggy. You'll have to excuse me. I'm not going to ask questions today since I'm doing a video. I'm just going to do it. So Z to get the zoom tool. Um, zoom in on Miss Piggy's face. Um, maybe back a little bit actually. So Alt, go back a little bit. And you remember yesterday's lesson, I taught you guys about the quick selection tool. So I'm going to use that to try and capture her face. So here it is here, quick selection tool. I'm going to now drag that over her head. I'm going to try and get her neck as well. Okay, and up here. All right, um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more because I went a little bit over her head. I'm going to press the space bar so I can move her over this way. Um, now I'm going to hold down Alt. When I do that, I'm going to start deselecting areas. So there's Alt. Now when I push against here, I'm deselecting the side of her face here. And I may as well go down there as well. And I don't really want her hair because the Mona Lisa's got her own hair. So that seems good enough for this particular task. So I'm going to pull that to the side. I'm going to actually zoom back out again. So Z to the, mag, um, to the mag, uh, zoom tool and Alt to make it minus. Take it down. What I want to do is just drag her head over to the Mona Lisa's um, picture. To do that, I need to go to this tool here, which is called the Move tool. Um, to grab that, you'll notice when I put it there, um, the move tool with V next to it in brackets comes up, which means I just need to press V. And there we go, I get the move tool. So to get the to get Miss Piggy's head, I take the move tool onto her head and I drag it over here. All right, now I've got that. I don't need Miss Piggy anymore. She's served her purpose. I'm gonna close her down. And um, one thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna click on the layers um, window. You'll see that Miss Piggy doesn't join the picture below it, it becomes its own layer. See that here? It's its own layer over the top of the Mona Lisa. So when I move it, it is completely independent. When I change it, it's independent. And we'll merge them later on. But what I've got to do now is make this face fit the Mona Lisa. So again, Z for zoom tool. Let's get closest. That's probably a bit too close. All right, and let's see what I can do now. Um, I've showed you guys in the past free transform, you can change things. So. Command T will allow me to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do now is try and stretch her face to fit better with the Mona Lisa's. So I'll hold down Shift so it doesn't change the proportion too much. And I'll start to drag it out a little. One thing I also want to do is uh, I want to actually rotate it a little. So if I go to the corner, it will become that sort of triangular shape. So I'll rotate it this way a little. Uh, actually, I'll go to the other one. All right, come on, rotate. That seems to be rotating in quite big um, lots anyway. Go back a little. All right, well, that will do. Yes? Cool. This one? I can actually set it. All right, so let's try it at 19. 
Okay, so we'll change that around. All right, that's good. Thank you, Dean. Let's see, what about 25? It's a bit too much. There we go, I know to go, maybe 10. All right, good. Thank you. So class who's listening to this, notice what just happened then. You can set the degrees up there. Thank you, Dean. All right, one thing I want to do is, um, before I stop doing this, I'm going to go down here to the opacity on the layers and realize that I'm choosing the top layer and I'm going to reduce the opacity. I'm going to make it more transparent. The reason I'm doing that is so that I can see how her face lines up with the face below. Can you see that? The way her face has become kind of see-through. Look how it becomes very see-through. And here, just see-through enough to make sure I line things up. I can kind of see the Mona Lisa's neck below. So what I might do actually is stop holding shift and just drag this in a little, squish her face up a bit, move that over, move that up, maybe pull this corner out a little, and maybe like that. All right, I'll say that fits. I'll put the opacity back to normal so I can see how it goes. And that's how her face is gonna be. Um, actually, a little bit over, I don't want this corner of her eye to show. All right, and I'm gonna click the tick to accept that. All right, and her face is now there. What I need to do now is to actually merge them and to change the coloring. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually, um, I've showed you this before, if I go to my adjustments layer, my adjustments panel, I'm gonna to go to hue and saturation. I'm gonna click on this, I've shown you this in the past. That little hand will allow me to just choose the colors I wanna change. So I'm gonna change this color and I'm gonna actually change, not the saturation, if you see what happens with the saturation, it just changes and makes it more intense in the color. What I'm gonna actually do is change this color of the pig to be more yellow, so let me go all the way down. Uh, make it more yellow so it fits in, kind of like that. I don't know if it happened on the screen, but it happened on my computer. The pig's face is now closer in color to the background. All right, so now what I need to do is actually find a way to get rid of these excess parts of Miss Piggy's face to make them fit in with the background. So I'm gonna zoom in again and move it over a little. Uh, I'm going to make her face transparent again. And what I'm going to do is... Oops, so I need... What's happening, the reason it wasn't changing is I'm just making the opacity less on the hue and saturation layer. I need to change it to the actual layer of Miss Piggy's face, which is what I've done now. And now I'll change that. There we go. So what I want to do now is find places like this where her face sticks out too much from the Mona Lisa. So what I'm going to do is just rub them out. Here is the eraser. Um, up here is the type of brush you can choose. I want to pick a far more um, fuzzy brush, so that way, it, um, when I actually rub things out, it doesn't have a harsh line. And I want to reduce the opacity a little too, so it's a bit softer when it does it. And I'm going to make that a little bigger. If you remember, the way to make that bigger is to use um, the brackets key. I don't know why that's going to me. Anyway, for some reason the circle's not coming up, but you can see I'm actually brushing away, actually brushing away parts of Miss Piggy's face to make it join in with the background. And what I'm gonna do here is zoom in a little bit more. Okay, and start to chip away at Miss Piggy's face there. All right. Uh, you guys can do that in more detail when you do it yourselves. I'm going to zoom back out again, Alt, and I'm going to bring her face back up again. All right, and there are obviously areas where I could have done more there. The other thing I'm going to do is um, grab a smudge tool. This finger here, it will allow me to smudge. If you hold it down and go down to smudge, the reason I'm going to smudge things is because I want to actually um, blur in Miss Piggy's face into the Mona Lisa. So um, when you've actually got to this stage, actually let me see what happens here if I smudge them. Okay, all that's happening is I'm smudging Miss Piggy. I'm gonna go back. When you get to this stage, the very last part of this, what you need to do is actually flatten the image. So if you go to layer, um, flatten the image, this will actually join all the layers together. So here we go. Flatten the image, it's all just one image now. And what I can do is just, um, blur these down. I'm going to lower the strength to about 10% and then just blur these a little bit so it's not so obvious where they join. 
you guys will do it even less perhaps, maybe even lower as 5%. But anyway, these are the stages. Let me go back to um, Mona Piggy over here and show you a finished version that I did. Um, here she is here. Mona Piggy created yesterday as an example using all those stages which I showed you. You can see where it's blurred here. Okay, I'm going to um, now stop this recording. Hopefully tomorrow's lesson can follow what I've done. Where is the stop? stop.